the good, the ugly, and the beautiful. The good, the ugly, and the beautiful. Larry Dunn. Mr. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. It hasn't always been this way for me. I had a very interesting and fun and crazy life before my wheelchair chose me for a new friend. Believe me, I didn't choose it. It chose me. But at the same time, it saved my life. See, it's, I started off on the right track. My mother had me in church every Wednesdays and Sundays, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts on Fridays. I was even an altar boy in church on Sundays. Moms kept me busy. When the summer came, she would send me away to these following places. New York, Washington, D.C., Bermuda. I had family in all these places, and this was just one of our ways in keeping me out of trouble. But coming up, I found ways still to get in trouble. Trust me, as a young kid living in L.A., it's not that hard. <laughs> moms raised me well, but mom's baby boy still ended up rough around the edges. I did school on a regular basis. I gangbanged, street hustler, always fighting, in and out the county jail. I stood on the corner, smoking weed, drinking 40 ounces of old English 800 all day. And so many other things I won't speak on at all, period. But don't get it twisted. I'm not proud of my past. But I, but I did, but I did learn from some of the things I did and the pain that I caused others, especially to my family, my kids' mothers, and my mom, who tried to give me the best life possible. I also learned running the streets and doing the things that I did. I was just wasting my life away. And the path I was on was going to give me one or two places. Jail for life or death. After all the pain I caused my mom, she still loves me at the age of 87. But now, I enjoy mentoring and helping others. and learning to overcome my own life as a quadriplegic in this wheelchair and helping others to do the same by helping them find resources that can help them overcome their newly spinal cord injury. By helping them find resources 
the well here also. And not only that, I have been certified by the Christopher and Dan Reed Foundation and the No Barriers Program as a peer mentor and a life coach. This is a pretty big change for me, but I believe I can handle it just like everything else in my life. I also have new friends that I can add with my old friends, ones that truly care about me and helping others. But there are things that I am proud of too. My two daughters, Jasmine and Nakia Dunn. Jasmine was born in 19, uh, 1988 and Nakia was born in 1993. Mark the happiest day of my life. Spending time with them, watching them learn and grow, and seeing a part of me that's not angry and full of rage, but full of life, dreams, and happiness. That brings me happiness. Joy. Mr. Toastmaster, 